Oh, here we are in the lower course of the River Severn. And look how different the river's now looking, how much wider it is, how flat this landscape is around us here. We can start to see as we're moving uh, towards the estuary, we're actually looking at the water thinking it's flowing in this direction. We thought that doesn't make sense as we've come from that direction, but this is a tidal river. It's being influenced by the tide. So obviously the tide is coming in and so water's coming up. And when the tide goes out, obviously you'll take it out. And that will lead us to going on to looking at an estuary, which is what the River Severn is. But I'll come to that in our next video. Here I wanted to look at river management, both looking at hard and soft engineering to protect rivers such as the River Severn. And firstly, we can see here management, hard engineering management is in place to allow and distribute the water flowing from tributaries that are joining the River Severn. This here will be used to manage the amount of water that will be flowing from a tributary that's coming from just behind us over here. So it will stop the water from flowing in to allow or to limit the amount of water going into the river to stop the water levels rising. Also, we've got a piece of hard engineering just behind us. This here we can see is a levee. This is a man-made levee. And a levee, firstly, can be natural and human-made. Naturally, when a river floods, water breaks its banks, the heaviest material will be deposited first as there's now no energy to transport the material. So the heaviest material would be deposited first. The lighter material, the alluvium, will be spread out over the floodplain. Great for agriculture, great for farming, making the ground nutrient rich. But when you've got this heavier material deposited like this, it then acts as a natural barrier. But here we've got human made levees. They've made this, this raised part of the land, which means when the river floods and breaks its banks, it can't go or shouldn't go beyond the height of this levee. So that's another form of hard engineering. So an expensive form of engineering that lasts a long time. Another type of hard engineering is building a dam. You usually see dams in the upper course of a river and a dam is used a big wall in front of a river with a reservoir behind it and it then limits the amount of water flowing down a river to stop flooding further downstream. But what's good about a dam is it is used to create hydroelectric power. The water flowing over a generator creates electricity. And also you've got there the reservoir that can be used to store water. So in hot weather like this, you've got fresh drinking water you can be using if it's sanitized properly. You've got areas for people to use as recreation and it's a great place to visit but they're very, very expensive and they change the course of the river. They limit the amount of water flowing down the river. So a delta, which I'll explain in the next video, will be impacted as not as much sediment will flow along the river as it's being built up behind the dam and it can lead to increased erosion, erosion further downstream. The last form of hard engineering I want to look at is river straightening. In an urban area such as Tewkesbury that we've just been to, it, it hasn't been done there, but an urban area like that you want the water to flow as fast through the town as possible. When a river is meandering, it slows down as it goes around a meander bend. And it will, when it slows down and it floods and there's a lot of water, it will flood the area. If though you had a river that was just straight and you make it, you design it so it's, you design so it's go straight, the water will flow faster through the river, uh, sorry, through the town, means the less water will be flowing, it will be flowing faster and it will then cause or increase erosion, maybe flooding further downstream, but farmland is okay to flood compared to urban areas. So those are our four types of hard engineering, okay? We've got a levee, man-made levees. You've got the building of a dam, okay? You've got uh, river straightening. Um, and yeah, these are great um, forms of hard engineering to protect a river such as this from, from flooding. You also have soft engineering. Now this is more sustainable, potentially cheaper ways of managing a river. So firstly, you can have planting trees, afforestation. Trees intercept the rain, so they stop water from flowing into the river. Roots absorb water. When you absorb the water, they're then held in the trees, less water goes into the river, meaning you have less 
chances of flooding. And the problem is we like to chop trees down in this area, building towns leading to increased flood risk. You can also just let the river have its natural course. Let its natural course, let it flow, let it flood floodplains, let it flood playing fields, which have always been used for, for that reason, for flooding. Also, you can have dredging. When you go along and you collect material from a river and you collect the material, you see these digger type things in the river and they take up all the sediment, makes the river deeper. And that then means there's less material in the river and you'll have a better chance for the water to flow and more water to go in the river, increases the chance of discharge in the river and means there's less chance of flooding. So you've got hard engineering, man-made, incredibly expensive, lasts a huge amount of time to protect a river such as this. And then you've got soft engineering, more sustainable, working with the natural environment, much cheaper, but might not necessarily last for as long, but works with the natural area. What a beautiful day here in the lower course of the River Severn. Look how much wider the river actually is, how much more water there is, the river will be increasing in speed, the sediment size will be much smaller, proto-attrition rocks smashing against each other, transporting material. But it was, as you'll see on our next video, we'll be going closer to the river estuary of the River Severn. Some great geography in action.